Well, plenty of you know by now the Princess Diana exhibit is on display right now at the Cincinnati Museum Center. Well, Cody Hefner is joining us. And Cody, we know that iconic wedding dress is there. It's front and center. It's beautiful. But there are lots of like sort, I want to say hidden gems, but things that if you aren't really paying attention, you might miss. There, there's a lot of details. Uh, people really get wowed and in awe of the wedding dress, as they should. Sure. Uh, but there's so many smaller details and minute things that you see throughout the exhibit if you're really paying attention to it. Uh, Diana had a fascination with frogs. She loved frogs uh, as a child, and then as she grew up, she carried frogs with, it, with her throughout her life. So as you're going through the exhibit, you look in different places and you see the frogs reappear it's in her life. It's just a theme, yeah. right? Yeah. All through her life. There's a portrait there. It's of her grandmother who she was very close to, but people think it's her. Yeah, it's, it's a portrait of her paternal grandmother, Cynthia Hamilton, who looks very, very much like her. It's uh, a painting done by John Singer Sargent. Um, and, and as you said, Cynthia Hamilton, her grandmother, was a big influence in her life, as were many of the Spencer women in her family. She came from a very, uh, a line of very strong women in mm -hmm. her life, and she drew a lot of inspiration and a lot of guidance from them. There, uh, the, the speech, or the, I guess I don't know if it's the speech, but at, at the, her funeral, her brother made that mm -hmm. beautiful, really kind of historic speech. That's there, but it's the original copy of what he wrote, and what's crossed out is the interesting part, right? Right, yeah. Uh, the, the final speech that he actually gave is, is on the wall, uh, very clear for everyone to read, but then beside it, there's also the first draft that has things marked out, little additions that mm -hmm. he made. Um, so you see where he, where his mind really was as he was going through, uh, and it just makes you wonder why did he leave some things out, why did he add, add some things in, but you get that rare inside look into his emotions and his feelings through that. I think it's stunning that he would even give that first draft, because it will make people go, hmm, well, Yeah, it, the, the exhibition gives you an amazing access into Diana's life. She was a living legend, and she still is a legend today. But this shows you Diana the woman, the real person. Um, and you would think that by stripping away some of that legend and some of that mystique around her, it takes some of the shine off her. But in reality, it, it makes you adore her more. And it, it makes her that much more of a captivating person. When you see her as a child growing up, when you see her... Even her uh, diary is there. Her diary is there. Um, and one of the things that it says is uh, that she wishes never to cook a meal for Sarah again, which was her sister. So. She was a child like she anyone else. She never and, had to. Yeah. All right, so here's the deal. It runs through. August 17th. But don't wait. I mean, don't wait to the last minute because it's going to get really booked towards the end, right? Yeah, it, this is the last time anyone's going to have an opportunity to see this exhibition ever. So there's no sense in waiting. Come out early, come out often because, as, as we've been saying, there's a lot of minor details that yeah, you're going to you miss. Yeah, you might want to so, go more than once. Yeah, you are. You're going to talk to your friends, then you're going to say, I never saw that. I had no idea that was there. And you're going to want to go back. And so you don't want to wait until the last minute to where you miss out. Go check it out at the Cincinnati Museum Center. Cody, thanks for coming in.